Welcome to the very long awaited apartment makeover. Yeah. If you're new here, I am that person who is semi Pinterest famous because of their childhood bedroom. And for some reason, I am just not in love with my apartment right now. And I'm definitely one of those people, you know, your environment very much reflects personality. It's conducive to how I work and, oh, Kayla, hi. And yet the space has just felt like not me. Also surprise, I do do things, uh, I said do do. I, this is already so embarrassing. I do things outside of just doing YouTube and social media. And so I've never really had the time to hunker down and really think about how I want to transform the space. But recently, I just kind of had something in my brain click like a light bulb go off. And then like my good old Libra self, I decided to rearrange everything in my living room. My 5'3 self was like hollering ass, pushing the piece. Piano, the dining table around just trying to find the right layout that felt good because for so long I feel like my apartment has kind of just existed and today is the day Today is the day that we get started on all the projects that have been running through my mind And it's about to be my sixth month of living here and I don't feel like this place I got on the TLC it deserves So we are doing it now Hello everyone, yes, this is Lynn from the present and you're gonna see my hair change a lot in this video, okay? But previously on Lofting with Lynn, I have gone apartment hunting and found my dream apartment. Also made over my bedroom, which is this very beautiful green forestry, mushroom filled, a little bit maximalist cluttered space. And I've also built a PC and done a desk makeover. And throughout all these processes, I use Notion to help plan my move, to decide what things to buy for my home and to keep track of my spending. Notion is an excellent tool Tool for students, for our teams and collaboration work, and also just the day-to-day -day life of planning and organizing your work stream. It's customizable. I've shared a lot of my templates in the past. And it's aesthetic, fun, and easy to use. I mean, literally look at this page. It's Studio Ghibli themed with Kiki's Delivery Service. And it's with this page, which I labeled Win at Home, that I was able to make sure that I hit all the deadlines, all the to-do tasks I needed to do before moving in. I have it all organized under a subheading called move in and if you click on logistics there are all the things that i needed to do before i signed my lease and was able to live in this apartment space this is a pretty simple layout but it's really easy to drag things around this was also how i kept track of my packing list when i was moving in and to make sure that i was just finding the best deals making sure that i didn't go over budget created these lists and hyperlinks to products that i wanted to buy for furniture decor dream home item and i'm slowly crossing it off as i find like the perfect item for my home because right now I'm a big believer in not buying everything at once but like rather waiting for things to come to you whether it's through Facebook marketplace, secondhand. And because of Notion, I was really able to cut down on my expenses. I think next on this list I really really want to check off is an automatic cat litter box for Kayla. She deserves it. She deserves the princess treatment. I also deserve the princess treatment. I don't want to be scooping her poop for the rest of my life. But yeah, leave automatic cat litter boxes recommendations down below, please. I need that help. And other templates I have and that I've shown in the past is my weekly to-do. I'm very proud of this one. At the beginning of each week, I sit down and kind of write down all my tasks that I need to accomplish day by day. And of course, my main page, let's get shiz done. Feel free to use any of my templates and customize it. Thank you so much Notion for sponsoring this video and for keeping my life in check. But on to the apartment makeover. Whoa, before we get on into it, we have to start from the very beginning. So let's rewind back to summer 2022, the summer that changed my life.
and I'm about to go pick up the TV now. This is just a car rented through their car. It is so fucking hot. The TV is 55 inches. Pretty lengthy if you ask me. And I am moving it by myself because Lincoln has stuff to do. He has dinner plans. TV obtained. samples for this foyer specifically. So my big issue is that I'm having a really hard time dividing up the space in my loft apartment. Since it's open concept, but I want there to be a clear divide between, you know, dining area and the couch living area. And there's a little alcove. And essentially this is going to be serving as an entryway, a place for my plants, and also a place where, you know, I entertain, cook, food, eat. And I think painting right where this little cutout is will 
create a greater distinguishment, distinction, separation of space that I really need. But I'm deciding between these three colors. I love this kind of blue. Oh. For the last six months, I've been interning at a White House initiative. It was an amazing experience, and we also got to tour some parts of the East Wing of the White House. And so many of the rooms are painted this type of blue or the light sage green that's been really popular. Blue is my favorite color. Green is my second favorite. Surprisingly, I think everyone thinks my favorite color is green. Oh, I don't like that. Why does it look salmon -y? those three right there and for the purpose of YouTube not flagging this video as dangerous I will not explain how I got up there you just have to assume that I flew that I magically grew 10 feet yeah we've now reached a part that I'm most excited for which is building the new bookshelves I got these really cute mid-century brown bookshelves from Target got three of them during Black Friday and they are so heavy my current bookshelf is a little bit overflowing and these are gonna be for my books my Legos my anime figurines cuz you know I'm that person little hunks of vinyl mm -hmm. I bought an entire shelf for them this is just one step closer to me fulfilling my dream of having floor to ceiling wall-to-wall -wall bookshelves with a rolling ladder okay this is just one step closer I don't know how long this is gonna take but hopefully it doesn't take more than a couple of hours to build I'm pretty good with building flat pack furniture okay IKEA challenge accepted <laughs> terrible today. Why do I have to have my vagina bleed every single month? I started my period yesterday and then I went to bed so early for me at 10 p.m. and then I woke up because my cramps were just so shitty and I went downstairs to get water and I look at the clock on the, the stove and it was 1.30 a.m. So I had such a hard time falling back asleep and I didn't wake up until 11 so we are starting a day very late which is why it's kind of dark in my house but I am determined to still be productive today. Today is going to be painting day because I have been neglecting painting the house. So we're going to start with a little hallway which I'm painting green and I'm doing a Studio Ghibli poster wall. Context, this is what it currently looks like. I like it being pretty empty besides for Kayla's litter box over there because I like to have maximum walkway. I want to paint a pretty simple mural. I don't want to paint the entire wall mainly because the sliding barn door will cover it up once it goes out. So I'm going to tape down and prep and draft out the design that I have in my head. Let's get on into it. 
항상 처음은 설레이지 널 보러 가는 길도 마치 구름 위지 너에게 하고 싶은 말을 생각하다가 나 이렇게 나 까바보라는 것을 알게 되었어 저 바보같이 머리부터 발끝까지 콩깍지 가스연 앵커피를 들고 햇볕 아래서 널 기다리다 내 마음이 녹은 것 같아 Let's go out in the sun 느낌이 왔어 이 리듬에 맞겨 발걸음에 맞춰 Fly with the wind 이 분위기를 타꼭 날아가지 못한 곳을 데려가줘 Time after time 사랑을 몰라 말들이 너무 많아 우리 걱정은 많아는 널 보며 지금 말해 What does it take to flatten out five posters, one Hayao Miyazaki book, one Sony XM5, one YSL PR box, one RF Kwong book, and one big ass bag of rice? It just better, it just good when I'm with you all right This feels good, you and I think we got something special And I don't need to try any harder It just better, it just good when I'm with you all right 언제부터 시작한지 잘 모르네 너의 예쁜 목소리만 잘 알아 baby 너의 예쁜 목소리만 잘 알아 baby 너의 예쁜 목소리만 잘 알아 In case you don't know, haha in case, in case I collect a lot of anime figurines And with the new shelves, I want a better way to organize all the figurines And also to make sure they don't collect dust Kayla will also jump on the shelves sometimes And on the occasion, she'll knock off like, I don't know, Gojo to their death So I got a case, we're gonna build it right now on my dining room table And see how it turns out Nice! I feel like Ronald McDonald We don't know where we are going I just need you Hello, I am so determined to power through and finish all the painting today because I want to be done with it And as you can tell right here, I really only have the edges left, but I'm short and I can't reach it The little roller cannot get the edges what I'm gonna do because I'm so smart I'm gonna tape the paintbrush I have to this big-ass paint stick that is used to stir paint and then use it as an extender Innovation that excites <laughs> how to make my cabinets not look the way they are right now. You know that one level of unpacking where they move in with a toxic ass boyfriend? This color scheme and aesthetic is what that reminds me of, that boyfriend's apartment. I cannot paint them and I don't want to put vinyl on top because I feel like that'd be messy. In all honesty, I do care about functionality more than aesthetic. So I decided I could do at least one thing to make it feel a little bit more girly pop and less grr masculine. It's to hang up, <laughs> it's to hang up the poster of Namjoon that I got on a cabinet. So I'm gonna do that.
forget me for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing a snippet of what living here has been like for the past almost nine months. I have made so many wonderful memories in this home and I feel like ever since coming here, my conception of home, what I think of as a home has definitely changed and been altered. I think it's really easy to say that like home is where people are, is where family is. I think I've come to learn that like home is a physical place as much as it is people. Obviously this apartment isn't finished. Like there are so many other things I wanna do. So please subscribe if you haven't already, if you wanna stay along for the adventure. I think I'll be doing a bookshelf tour and collection and organization video soon because I shipped my entire book collection from home all the way to here. So these shelves are gonna be chalky and filled. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for allowing me to create all these sweet memories and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Mwah.